<clears throat> this is kind of for your board. A good board should have a good emergency plan. I want to just spend a second about this. The plan obviously ought to include the obvious. Do we live in earthquake country? Of course we do. If the board doesn't have a plan to deal with earthquakes for your community, then do they have a responsibility? Could they be sued, right? How much of the plan you have is up to you. They, you, the board, have a fiduciary responsibility to act on behalf of the association to do what is best in the best interest of that group of people. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about these two things real quick. The business judgment rule. How many of you know what the business judgment rule is? Anybody? Okay. What the business judgment rule says, this is all the business judgment rule in California presumes that the director's decisions are based upon sound business judgment. So if your HOA board makes a decision not to have an emergency preparedness plan, they did that on purpose. What happens then if you have a serious earthquake and your community is in jeopardy? Well, guess what happens? As my brother the lawyer likes to say, anybody can sue anybody over anything, anytime, right? So at a minimum, the board ought to think seriously about at least having some plan. Even if they don't care, even if they don't plan on executing it, they need to have something in writing that is their defense should they ever get sued. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? So no automatic protections for directors who remain willfully ignorant. We have one community that um, one of our one of the people on the CBDPN board is a party too, and they absolutely refuse to do anything. Are they still doing that? Does Mike's community ever get on board? Yeah, they think they think the liability is in having the plan. Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> okay, um, and while I'm at it, um, um, CBDPN has been fortunate enough to have relationships with a whole bunch of people and was it a year and a half ago, two years ago, um, we got connected with a national FEMA association who had money that they were trying to give away for training. And because of COVID, nobody could do training. And so we convinced them that instead of letting that money go to waste, they ought to let us, our communities have access to it. And so how many communities had got money? Yeah, 11. Mine was one of them. We got a whole bunch of stuff free for nothing because we got money. $200,000 worth of equipment. Yeah. So um, I don't know if we're, are we working that, that side of the street again? I don't know if they're, I don't know if they got more money to give us. But, but the bottom line is kind of pay attention to what's going on because we sent out a note to everybody and said, hey, so here, in, in that particular community, the reason I'm going there is that community basically, it's like, hey, here's free money. You can go buy stuff, you can buy water, just here's free money. It's like, no, 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 we don't want to participate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what this slide is all about. Those people are, in my opinion, at risk and very liable. So the way to think about this is this is just having a plan is your get out of jail free card, right? It's your get out of jail free card. You need to have a plan just to keep yourself out of trouble should something happen. Make sense? So that's your argument with the board. That's your main thing. If you want help with that, CBDPN can help you. We have people who can talk about this stuff. We'll come in and make a presentation to your board and tell them what this is all about and why they should care. <laughs>